happy day children every day is a good day there is something to learn care and celebrate it is by amit roy every day is a new day and always there is something to learn care and to celebrate so let it be a good day for you all guys and let us enter into our topic you are going to today we are going to see unit chan book exercises prose book exercises first of all british and american english you know british and american english that words are some of the words are totally different and their spellings too first we shall learn the words and then we can go for the spellings torch flashlight mobile phone cell phone bin trash can lorry truck so you see the words are totally different and we used to follow british english not the american one even the pronunciation differs british to american let us go for the exercises here it is flat american word is apartment lift elevator petrol gas or gasoline chips french fries biscuit cookie holiday vacation you see flat apartment lift elevator petrol here it is gas or gasoline chips french fries biscuit cooking holiday vacation we know we are uh, we are using these words british words american one rarely we are using it okay let us go for the spellings you see the spelling skillful skillful double l check c h e q u e here it is c h e c k program m w m e here it is p r o g r a m program dialogue we used to say dialogue d i a l o g u e here it is dialogue d i a l o g so these words totally differ in their spelling the pronunciation are more or less same so the spellings you have to learn and with the reference to that they are given some exercises we shall see to that british word in american word apologize your apologize is a t for american word judgment there it is judgment j u d g m e n t neighbor n e i g h b o r dreamt dreamed dreamt dreamed aeroplane airplane plough plough see the spellings you have to learn it children apologize apologize is a t judgment without e there you have to write neighbor without you there you have to write dreamed dreamt dreamed aeroplane airplane plough plough now like a, let us go for eponym eponym are nothing but the the named after the na- in uh, name of the person here you see saxophone here it is a eponym because uh, the na- meaning is it is a musical instrument adelope sir sax was the inventor of this instrument so it is called saxophone it is named after the after the uh, instrument designer adelope sax then volcano 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 you know eruption is a natural dis- disaster uh, and it was de- des- designed but it was designed by vulcan a uh, mythological character he is the son of jupiter vulcan is the god of fire eiffel tower eiffel tower is the tower in france and it is made of iron an engineer called uh, eiffel uh, des- designed it so it is called that it is called after the in is name boycott boycott means to avoid something a corrupt revenue official official was removed from the government so the farmers used to say avoid chalice boycott the corrupt revenue official in due course the meaning of the word boycott became avoid mount everest it was uh, you know it is the highest peak in the himalayas and george everest was the first surveyor of india to have the survey in measuring so he was the first to measure the height so it was named after him then eponyms is using offensive word in the uh, using inoffensive word in the word, the word of offensive deaf or out of hearing answer hearing impaired mentally ill psychiatric fat chunky or plumpy blind visually challenged liar teller of tall tales so deaf deaf means your hearing impaired mentally ill psychiatric fat means chunky or plumpy blind means visually challenged liar means teller of tall tales your listening passage is given uh, at the back of your book uh, here it is about mobile phone a mobile phone is a, like a world in our pocket as it is amazing parents do not have to remain in tension if their sons and daughters are late because mobile phones can make us connected to the rest of the world within a second 
Then some of the negative effects of a mobile phone are headache, earache, blurring vision, radiation destroys cells in ear and head. So there are positive as well as negative aspects. So handle it carefully children. Uh, don't use uh, mobile unnecessarily. Excessive use of mobile phones can be hazardous to one's health as it has negative effects. A mobile phone is a threat to one's privacy as it is as using it as a hidden camera to take picture and making video. So be careful with the mobile phone children and also with the strangers. And let us go for the next one. Question tags already we have discussed. She is collecting stickers. Isn't she? Positive sentence or negative tag. We often watch. Watch is the main verb. So do plus be. You have cleaned your bike. Here it is. Answer is given wrongly children. Haven't you? John and Max don't like Max. So do they. Negative statement. So positive tag. Peter played handball yesterday. Played is the main verb. So did plus play. Didn't he. As it is a positive sentence. So we take negative, negative tag. They are going home from school. Aren't they? R plus going. Main verb is there. R is the auxiliary verb. Negative sentence, sorry, positive sentence, so negative tag, aren't they? And uh, next one is, Mary didn't do her homework last Monday. Didn't, negative sentence, so did she? He could have bought new uh, bought a new car. Could he? Could, sorry, couldn't he, children, couldn't he? Kevin will come tonight, won't he? Will plus not, won't. I am clever, aren't I? Aren't I? Then the next one is it is given as option. Here this answer is wrong children. Couldn't E. In the PDF uh, it will be given correctly. So you can make use of it. So next one is the option. You have to choose the option. Here you have to check the whether the sentence is negative means your uh, tag should be positive. And then the next one is fill in the blanks. with the E is still sleeping. Isn't E. You are not supposed to write is not E. Isn't E in apostrophe T. You go to school. Go is the main verb. So do. Use first second person singular. So do plus go. It is a negative positive sentence. So negative tag. Don't you. Let's you know. Let's means shall be. We won't be late. Won't is will plus not. So will be. Will be. So you see the sentence. Check the sentence. If it is negative sentence. Positive tag. And the next one is nobody called. Nobody. So you have to go for did they. They will wash the car. Your will is uh, auxiliary verb. So no negative positive sentence. So negative tag. Won't they. Won't they. We must lock the doors. Must is the auxiliary verb. Positive sentence. So negative tag. Mustn't we. Am right. Am is given. So it is a positive sentence. So, aren't I? You know, is am plus not aren't. What? Here it is. Main verb is given. Did plus by. So, didn't you. Wouldn't is. Wouldn't. Would is the model auxiliary. So, would you. Negative sentence. So, positive tag. Simple compound complex sentence. Simple sentence is nothing but children. Which has only one subject and one predicate. A compound sentence means it is made of two or more main classes. You will be saying two main classes joined by a conjunction. Complex sentence. A complex sentence contains one main class and one or more subordinate class. Subordinate class is nothing but already we have learnt about classes. Subordinate classes, it needs something to complete it means. You see, if he is at home, I shall see him. I shall see if is the coordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction here. Here the compound sentence it has two main sentences. That is two verb, two subject. You see the moon was bright. And we could see our way. So here two sentences joined by a coordinating conjunction. Two sentences it gives. The uh, sentences give meaning on its own. Let us go for the exercises. Man proposes but God disposes. Here two main sentences. Two sentences joined by a uh, coordinating conjunction. So compound. I went because I was invited. You see, complex. I went because it needs a main class to complete it. Meaning, John C. returned home because she was tired. Here, John C. returned home. Why? Because she was tired. Here, she was tired was the main class. So, it is complex. Whatever you do, do well. Here, again, it is complex sentence because whatever you do, do well. Whatever is the subordinating condition. Listen carefully and take notes. Here, two main class so joined by a 
coordinating conjunction so compound i called him but he gave me no answer again it is compound i called him gives you complete meaning he gave me no answer complete meaning joined by a coordinating conjunction the town in which i live is very large here it is complex the town so it needs a main class they always talk who never think again they always talk who never think it need it is a complex sentence we must eat to live but we should not live to eat compound govern your passion or they will govern you again it is compound sentence now let us come for a word of the day i hope it will be useful for you and you also find some words and write children per week at least five words inquisitive it is an adjective eager to learn or very curious sentence since lisa is such an inquisitive child she constantly ask questions you know nowadays child are very curious to know about things so they used to ask questions so you make use of these words copy in your notebook learn the spelling and then make a sentence on your own okay children complete your book exercises i have given the pdf and after seeing the video just say i saw the video by your name and they are completed images too have a nice day children